If you've been following us for a while, well, firstly, thank you. Secondly, you'll have noticed that quite often I post pictures of passion flowers, single flowers, close up. Um, this is for two reasons. Firstly, they are very nice. Secondly, um, we've had a lot of trouble in the last couple of years with plants not growing very well. Either they start growing and then slow down or else they have problems with pests and diseases. So I want to talk to you a little bit about how we've prevented that from happening. At the beginning of August last year, I had a chat with a top plant expert, Saul Walker, and he was talking to me about how they grow passion flowers at Kew Gardens. And uh, that led to me a couple of weeks later, completely tearing down everything we had in the greenhouses and starting again. So let me show you what we do. We grow them around these obelisks, which stay wide at the top as well at the bottom. And also we make sure that as they grow up, they grow round and round. And as soon as they start to grow upwards, like this bit is doing, we tie them back down and round. This mimics their behavior in the wild when they reach the top of the forest canopy and throws aside loads and loads and loads of side shoots. The result is that this year here on the 1st of April, we've got more growth more luscious growth and buds and plants going in all sorts of directions than we had in July of last year. And so it's going to be very exciting to see what happens this year. So for all of you who've been following us, again, thank you and watch this space. A couple of extra bits at the end of this rather shoddily edited video. Uh, just to point out that the other thing we've done is we've kept good pest control this, uh, this winter. And also we've removed a lot of the old yellowing leaves that have allowed these uh, new shoots to come up with lots of light and air. And this has helped enormously. The other thing to note here is that the 40 or so passion flowers we've got growing here grow either if they're a little bit hardier on these pallets to keep them up off the floor or on heated trays on the staging at the back. And this is um, the protection they get, including a heater that keeps this greenhouse at about seven degrees minimum.